Wow, oh. on cue. Okay. I mean, talk about surprise um, guest at the Big Ten. So, <laughs> okay, so he does this lynching video, but then Willie Nelson, who's like this pot smoking, I assume anti lynching, <laughs> like liberal, is in the video, right? And then he, he says that Obama holds himself like a Caucasian, which is like, you have to make the jokes because I can't make the jokes. No. But um, what are the, like, that's just asking for someone to be like, yeah, because he doesn't want Can I just make a confession really quickly? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Toby Keith? Oh. I thought you knew. You're too, you're oh. too friendly. <laughs> I just, I don't know what you're talking about. I thought you knew. And okay, I like I to stay up it. on news, but I can't follow <laughs> every little Unlike open me, if you had said America. something I didn't know about, I would have been like, what are you talking about? And I would have looked like an idiot. But you're so professional <laughs> that you're like, so then I didn't realize. Okay, Toby Keith is a country singer. That's, uh, you, okay, he's not oh, a real Okay, country, country singer, and he had this song about, like, kicking, what was it? He had some song about Iraqis and he was going to kick their asses. You guys are like all know the song by heart, but you're pretending that you don't because you don't want to seem can like bigots in country music. Can fans. I make a dramatic? All right, tell Toby we say hi. <laughs> can I make a dramatic shift in uh, an editorial direction here? You don't want to go there. You're not going to touch Toby. Did you guys? Did you see the guy with the huge mustache today? Oh yeah, I did. Like he had an afro mustache. Wait, can I just finish it? The point is that Toby <laughs> Keith is now for Obama. He is. Yeah, and he's. This Democrat. came out. Yeah. I'm so confused. Yeah, just forget it. If you don't, it's just, I just blew your mind open. You really did. Just forget it. We'll talk tomorrow. I need, need some to nasty beer. No. I'm not getting out of this I chair again, live. so. <laughs> um, yes, take Throw it away. It. So, did you, the, the Barack Obama was referred to by many names today. I wanted anybody to catch Barack Obama. Did anybody catch the reference to Barack Obama? Was I the only one watching the proceedings today? Am I the, the only idiot here taking like notes? A trial. The only one not what? Because I, I want to live. I'm dehydrated just thinking about it. You just sounded like an old Jewish grandmother. <laughs> I'm dehydrated just thinking about it. Forget That's about exactly it. That's exactly how I sounded, too. That was perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone who laughs, that means you've met a Jew. Anyone who's not laughing, I'll talk to you after. And I'll teach you some Yiddish. It'll be awesome. So where are the um, hot parties tonight? I'm doing a shtetl party. A shadow party. A shtetl, shtetl party. Oh, I don't know what that means. We, we Is that a Toby a Keith thing? It's like the War, the Warsaw Ghetto or whatever. Okay. I'm just like, I don't know why. I think I feel really, like, inadequate that I'm white. So I play up, like, the Jewish thing because. Do you want, like, a laser pointer and some slides? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Sorry, that was way too, that was just, I'm just doing, this is like, uh, what's it called? Stream of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. But you guys are lucky enough. It's to like win Twitter this thing. out loud. Yeah, We're, I'm trying to be really <laughs> expressive because I'm being the anti-blogger right now. Florida Progressive Coalition. <laughs> I'm not even drunk. It's the altitude. I'm twittering. <laughs> are you just happy to see me? I'm at pound DNC zero eight <laughs> at Big Tent Denver. <laughs> I'm the most like technologically backward person who has ever written a blog. I Actually, think. I'm ping FMing now. I've moved on. Oh, yeah, I joined Ping. You gave yeah. me an illegal It's like password. Twitter on steroids. Wait, should we talk about, can we talk about what we learned today from, from Michelle? Like a wrap-up? Sure. Um, Justin, do you, is Justin here, by the way? Do you have any editorial notes in terms of the order of what's going on? Oh, Okay, cool. well, in a minute, awesome. This is, by the way, this is called um, Beyond the Fourth Wall. This is a really experimental it's, it's theater. Actually, it's beyond professional. It's beyond professional. It it's, um, it's, 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 like, it's like British Petroleum. It's like beyond petroleum. Yeah. The show is like beyond professional. And we give 1.001% per of our money to professional costs. There no, you go. the anti, whatever. <laughs> to good environmental things like yeah. British Petroleum does. Um, okay, here's what I learned. Um, Michelle Obama, the secret to her heart is, guys, this is good. Trivia. The secret to Michelle Obama's heart is ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. I just Good to know, the words men. She just said. Take note. Okay. Here's the other thing. She was an adorable baby. She was really fat. I love fat babies. And I'm really upset she's trying to get her daughters to lose weight. Thanks. <laughs> Where is this going? Okay, let me just, re okay, really quickly, and then we're going to bring up our first guest, and you guys are going to really soil yourselves because you'll be so excited. I'd like to know, I'm serious. Who really. here's, who's staying the farthest away from these things? Like, who, who thinks they're staying the farthest away from where we are in terms of your accommodations? I just want to figure out where folks are. 
Golden. Boulder. Somebody's in Boulder. Who's in anybody farther than Boulder? Because Boulder's like 500 miles away. Okay, before we bring on our guests, another question really quickly. What part did you cry at? Did those of you who cried, did you cry at? Anyone? When she, when she started talking about, like, I'm not allowed to answer this? No, I'm shaking my head in empathy. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you got it. <laughs> when she talked about the, the history of people who triumphed and then connected that with the hope. Yeah, that was, like, was good. That's why I love that was my good. country. And I oh, like, yeah. Why am I feeling all patriotic? Damn you, Michelle Obama. Um, okay, but that's when you cried inside. But when yeah. I cried was when she talked about him inching along in the car, looking in the back in the rear view mirror or whatever mirror I don't drive in front of Manhattan that mirror that was really beautiful yeah that was I don't know why you guys aren't laughing at that that usually kills <laughs> that goes over really well at the, the point where you um, should we bring up we our, our first guest yeah you got the info I have I have I know who th yeah I mean I'm really excited to bring up this first guest because she is in addition to being a really great activist and progressive she's also was the star of a movie that basically changed my life. Okay. Um, and so I think is that without any further ado, if that's okay, we are going to bring up, you may know her as Madison, Daryl Hannah. Daryl Hannah, come on down. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. Thank you, thank you. Hello. A few stragglers that are left. <laughs> the only ones that still have energy. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm uh, here to talk about the garden, which apparently the, garden. the clip did not show up for. Do we have to act it out again? <laughs> a reenactment. No. Every time we do one of these things with Daryl, it's just the same thing. Like, I forgot the clip. <laughs> Can you please like act out the movie? But it's a documentary, and it's about the South Central Farm. Wh yes. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Which was uh, um, um, otherwise known as the largest urban farm in the United States, and it was a 14-acre piece of land that was given to the community of South Central um, after the LA riots or the LA uprising, and um, uh, it was a, a piece of land that was fallow that. Um, was filled with um, refrigerators and burnt out cars and body parts or who knows, whatever. And they, uh, the people of the community, which is the fifth poorest community in Los Angeles, uh, took all the cement out and brought in dirt and turned it into a Garden of Eden. 500 acres, uh, I mean 500 uh, mature fruit trees when I arrived there to do, do my first video blog on the place. Um, fields of corn, um, traditional uh, heirloom varieties of plants, medicinal plants. Um, it was a place that created a haven for uh, um, biodiversity, lizards, birds, butterflies, lizards bees. Lizards in the hood. That's right. And, you know, bees who are, of course, disappearing all over our country. Um, but who are responsible for populating or, or for for for, for uh, pollinating many of the plants that that allow us to eat? <laughs> um, some of us eat bees, and some of us do, <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, and of course, it also created a, a, a safe haven for the kids in the area, um, many of whom um, in the local parks, which there aren't very many of, but get you know have gotten shot and killed and. Um, and it was uh, also a place they could learn about farming practices. And um, there was a, every Sunday, there was a farmer's market. People could go there if they, there were 350 farmers. They grew food for their own families, but they also provided food for the entire community, organic, local, grown food. Um, and and the, the people in the community could go into the farm plots and not just buy their food from a table like you get at the farmer's market, but go into the plots and pick their food and find out where food comes from. And uh, um, it was just incredibly, incredibly uh, beautiful and inspiring in the way that cities should be, you know, the way that cities can be livable. You don't have to 
spend your whole paycheck to go to Whole Foods. You know, you could actually go and get food, fresh food, organic food, local food um, that your neighbors grew. And these people's food, these people's uh, refrigerators were filled with cabbage and corn and papayas and mangoes and things where now they get their food from the food bank and they're filled with Pepsi and brick of yellow cheese. But we don't know what the real origin of it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, um, and uh, on top of that, it was, it was just, it, it brought people together in a way that I've never seen anything. It was the perfect example of sustainability in action. And the film that Scott Kennedy made called The Garden, which is showing at 2 o'clock on Wednesday at uh, the Stars Theater, which I think is in, there you go, Stars Green, Green Room. Green. <laughs> um, is, uh, is about the... Is he filmed it over three years, and it's about the um, the political corruption that that created uh, the situation that we have today, where the farm was has been bulldozed, even though the 15.3 million dollars was raised to buy the farm back, although the developer bought it from the city for five million um, a year and a half before. Your government at work, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he, he, uh, but nevertheless, Forever 21 is right now trying to develop it into a warehouse. Um, there was an article in the LA Times today that said they've they decided to do an environmental study because I don't think they want the bad press of actually putting their warehouse there at the moment. Because they already um, have the sweat, the whole sweatshop thing. Sweat lodge with. thing. Yeah, sweat, 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 sweat. Sweat uh, lodge. Shop. That'd be all right. No, sweat lodge. Sweat lodge, lodge is in the that's hood. A good I am PR so thing. for that. They should that. do that. They're like they're not. They sweat should shops. do a sweat, sweat lodge, not a sweat shop for our sweat workers. Yeah. And they're um, they're um, uh, uh, too bad because they do have kind of cute clothing. But but I'm Prince. It's I do disposable. Not mind boycotting We're them. moving away from a disposable society. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What what right. where should? See that's an interesting question because that you issue that you bring up. It is. I feel like the the environmental movement and the organic movement, the green movement, has become something that's considered really bougie. And really what? Bougie. You know, and very kind of bougie, bougie, bougie and yeah. like upper class. That's how bougie you are. And I I don't know. It's, I don't. It's yeah, I think I don't know why I say that. Um, no, yeah, no. Th those words have been co-opted, unfortunately, and used as a marketing tool. You know, um, and and it, it's a shame because the truth of the matter is something more akin to what the South Central Farm was about, where right. the organic movement um, really should be about providing food for ourselves that is affordable, that we can grow in our right. in our apartments, in our backyards, right. um, lawns instead of you know, I mean, gardens instead of lawns. Uh, uh, all that kind of thing. So, um, the, at any rate, the South Central Farm film, which is called The Garden, is showing at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. I encourage you to go see it. Scott Kennedy shot it over a three-and-a-half-year period. It's all about the politi corru political corruption that it was behind the bulldozing of the South Central Farm and uh, what went on to uh, the reason that those the farmers and their supporters weren't able to ultimately save it from being bulldozed. However, it's not oh, over. Thank you. I hope you won't The farmers are still fighting. The spirit is stronger than ever. Their supporters are still there, and uh, there's still a chance that uh, they can be growing food in their own community rather than being bust, which some, they've been given a, a small piece of property hundreds of miles away, and they're being they're bussed busting? to it's it. It's not right. just Hundreds school? of miles, really? But it's the newest busing rage. But they don't it's get the food for themselves. making a Everything's coming back now. <laughs> yeah. Everything. First bell bottoms, now busing. I know. De and resegregation. Right. Right. So anyway, there you go. Um, go see the garden if you have a chance, or tell your uh, your fans who are visiting your websites about it because I think it, it's a really amazing film. And thegarden.com is their website, so check it out. Thank you. How right. did you get? Lots of love, you guys. Hannah, ladies and gentlemen, the garden, Thank 2 p.m. Stars Green Room, Wednesday. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Good luck with the movie. By the way, she's clearly never seen my apartment. Nothing will grow there that you want to eat. Nothing. All of this. It's awesome. It's pretty much it's awesome. Daryl Hannah, one more time, please. The Garden, 2 p.m.